In this video, we will learn to add and subtract money. Golu's birthday is coming and all the friends together want to buy a gift for him. Sher Khan, Appu and Raju together will buy a gift and Meenu, Bablu and Chanda will buy another gift. Let us see which gift Sher Khan, Appu and Raju together want to buy. All three friends have come to Gaggu's toy store. They have to buy a hat and a pencil. The cap is rupees 80 and the pencil is 12 rupees 50 paise. Children, can you tell how much money will they have to pay to buy the gift? What operations do we have to use to do this? Absolutely right! Addition! First, we will add the numbers of paise. Is there an amount of paise in the cap price? No. Is there any paise in the price of a pencil? Yes. 50 paise. How much paise will there be if you add 50 paise to 0 paise? Exactly. 50 paise. Now we will add the rupee numbers. The cap here costs 80 rupees. And how much is the price of a pencil? 12. 80 added to 12 is 92 rupees. In this way, the total value of both the items became 92 rupees and 50 paise. How do we write this using dots as rupees? All right. To the left of the point, we will write the number of rupees. And to the right, we place paise. The three together paid the price of hat and pencil and bought the gift. Now let us see what gifts are the other three buying together. All three of them have come to Babel Uncle's shop. They are buying a new shirt as a gift for Golu. The price of the shirt is 125 rupees 50 paise. He gave 150 rupees to Babel Uncle. Can you tell me? How much money uncle will have to return to them? Children, what operation do we have to use to find this out? Yes, subtraction. We can write it as subtraction in this way. Children, while subtracting, we first subtract the number of paise. Is there any paise for 150 rupees? No. Then, how will we subtract 50 paise of 125 rupees 50 paise from 0 paise of 150 rupees? Do you remember the borrowing process learned in the lesson of subtraction? Here, we will use the borrowing process. How much is 1 rupee worth? 100. We will borrow 1 rupee out of 150. We will show it in this way by cutting 150 to 149. Now, if we subtract 50 paise of 125 rupees 50 paise from the borrowed 100 paise of 150, then how many paise are left? That's right, 50 paise. Now, we will subtract the number of rupees 149 minus 125. 24 rupees. In this way, Uncle will have to return them 24 rupees 50 paise. The uncle returned him 24 rupees 50 paise. The three friends returned home excited with the shirt. 
The next day, when Golu saw his gifts on his birthday, he started dancing happily. All friends celebrated Golu's birthday in a grand manner. In this video, we learn to add and subtract money. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples.